Lopez Labs Photo AI is at 3.2.2, and I'm gonna show you how to take a picture like this. It's kinda dark, kinda listless. I'm gonna bring it up and make it look really cool. Now, the cool thing about this is I'm gonna be using multiple adjustments, especially multiple adjustments with adjusting the lighting. Let's check it out, kids. All right, we're in Photoshop, and we got this picture of this cool guy here, but he's a little dark, and we can't quite make him out, and it's a picture's a little bit noisy and blurry, but we're going to fix all that with Topaz Labs Photo AI in Photoshop. So first thing we're going to do, let's copy the layer. Then we'll go up to Filter, Topaz Labs Photo AI. Now, the first thing I want to do, I'll pull it down. It's automatically going to analyze everything and see what's going on and make its decisions to actually tell you, hey, try this. But I like to do my own thing here. So let's go to Denoise. And we're gonna go to Strong, right in the middle. Now, let's close it. And then get rid of the noise, check it out. There's a bit of noise there, but it's clean now. So the next thing I wanna do is I want to sharpen things up a bit. So let's go to Add Enhancements, Sharpen. Let's edit the selection and say All. Go back to Controls. Now it's automatically going to use Standard and it actually puts some noise back. I don't, I'm not digging that. I'm going to go with Natural. I've used it before and it seems to work really well. There we go. There we go. Let's sharpen things up, but it didn't make it look a little crazy at all. Sharpen up the car in the background. We may blur that later. You never know. Next thing I'm going to do, add another enhancement. Let's recover his face. So it's ready to do its thing. We can close it if we wish, but let's just see what it does. Now let's close the box and let's bring it up. That's very cool. All right, let's bring it up a bit. Let's kind of zoom in. Now check it out before and it brings his ear back sunglasses look at his mustache look at the hair in his mustache that's brilliant nose let's bring it down here check out his hair way too cool topaz labs is kicking butt with this these days i'm digging it okay zoom out now the thing we're gonna have to do is he's still a bit dark so let's go add enhancements and we're gonna to go to adjust lighting. Now let's go to edit selection and let's go to just him, the subject. Go back to controls and it's done its thing. It's a little much, it's a little, a little much. So let's click on it again and let's back it off all the way to minus 25. And it shows you, it's just completely dark. So let's bring it up to minus 10. See what it looks like. Well, he's coming back, but that's not right yet. Now, let's go to plus 10. Plus 25 was way too much. Plus 10. And bam, there he is. That's very cool. So now what we can do is what I'd like to do is add another one. Adjust lighting. We'll go to edit selection, except this time we'll go to background. Go to the controls. Now, let's go to the strength and make it minus 25. And now he's standing out even more. That's very cool. I like that. And check out the colors in the back, too. Seem to enhance it even more. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to bring back these poles here. So what we'll do is we'll add another one. Adjust lighting. We'll go Edit Selection, and we'll go Custom. Let's use their new Object Selection Brush. And I'm going to put it right in between here. Dab. On top, dab. Over here, dab. Done. All right, let's go to Controls. Let it do its thing. Now, it's a little bright. So we made him plus 10. So let's make it only plus 10. It'll go through its motions here. And nice, very nice. But we brought it back and it's exactly the way I like it. But I want him to stand out just a bit more. 
So we can choose to go back to subject here. And instead of plus 10, let's type in 15, enter. Once it's done, and here we go. This is exactly what I was looking for. He's sharper. He's standing out more with the lighting. Everything looks cool around here. Background looks great. I think we're done with this. This is fantastic. So right click. You can either close the image or apply, but we don't need to. We're done. So let's export to Adobe Photoshop. It'll take a sec and bang. Now, check it out. Before, after, before, after. You've completely revived this picture and now it looks great. I'm digging it. Well, there you go. As I showed you, 40AI at 3.2.2 is kicking butt and it takes a photo that you might kind of discarded or thought wasn't very good and made it nice for you. After what you've just seen with Photo AI, if you're interested in any of those products from Topaz Labs, check out my affiliate link in the description. If you're getting anything out of my tutorials, please like and subscribe. I'm Don from Photo 911. See ya.